Hey guys, Dexter here from Dexter's Workshop. It's been some time now since I've been working on my CNC. And finally it's finished. Uh, and now wanted to measure the backlash on the y-axis. Earlier I've measured on the x-axis and it was basically zero. It was 0 0.01 and I'm not going to uh, compensate for that. For this I've made a small uh, g-code file that will pull the x from 0 to minus 13 millimeters and back and so for on about a hundred times or so. Uh, and I'm going to start <laughs> basically is going to do it like this for one minute <coughs> and I will I'm quite confident that uh, the backlash will be zero or almost zero well for a machine of this type that the repetitive precision is given to be 0 0.05 I would be more than happy to be able to I don't know have like uh, 0 0.01 precision uh, 0, uh, 0 0.1 precision that would be more than enough for me and for the things I have to do uh, Earlier I've calibrated the X and Y axis using a ruler, straight ruler and turn out quite okay. There are some small differences in measurement using this dial indicator but uh, my friend Mircha gave me an idea about the end of scale errors and I've tested and this kind of indicator do have some end of scale errors so yeah basically it's quite an existence because 0 0.01 backlash it's quite okay so the there is a reason for uh, starting the measurement from almost 10 millimeters away and keep it preloaded uh, because there are some errors in the scale and as you can see dial is going between 0 0.01 and 0, 0.00 so there are some errors in the scale and I'm trying to minimize that errors uh, so yeah it's not a me tutorial it's nothing it's something cheap and uh, that's the reason which I'm trying to measure on the whole table using a measure tape because I if I have an error of uh, if I have an error of 0 0.5 millimeters on uh, 500 millimeters it's quite acceptable but if I have an error of 0 0.5 millimeters on a 10 or 20 or 30 millimeter workpiece that would be unacceptable I'm quite pleased with it. I hope that uh, the motors will not lose step anymore. And um, uh, right now, as you can see, there is no, uh, there are no uh, lost steps in this process. Uh, before I uh, changed the drivers and the motors, uh, there were quite a lot. Thank you guys for watching this and also I hope it will help you if you want to make this kind of measurements on your CNC. Thank you for watching, this is Dexter from Dexter's Workshop.